the Mercury Prize 2022 ceremony has been cancelled. In a statement shared with the Mirror, the organizers said, tonight's Mercury Prize event has been postponed at this time of great national sorrow. We know everyone involved in the Mercury Prize will understand. Our thoughts and condolences are with the royal family at this very difficult time. We will make an announcement regarding future arrangements as soon as we are able. The cancellation comes just hours after it was confirmed the prestigious awards axed their plans for a red carpet ahead of this evening's now scrapped ceremony out of respect for Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II died at the age of 96 surrounded by her family. In the year of her platinum jubilee after 70 years of dedicated service to the throne, Britain's longest-serving monarch passed away at her beloved Scottish estate, Balmoral. Her eldest son and heir Prince Charles is now king. She leaves behind four children, eight grandchildren and twelve great-grandchildren, including Prince George, Princess Charlotte, Prince Louis, Archie, and Lilibet. The UK is now in a period of official mourning with her funeral due to take place within a fortnight. The future king, the Prince of Wales, and second in line to the throne, the Duke of Cambridge, rushed to the Queen's Scottish Highlands home following the announcement. Prior to this evening's cancellation, self-esteem, legal name Rebecca Lucy Taylor, had been the bookmaker's favorite to take home the prize for her critically acclaimed second album, Prioritize Pleasure. Don't worry darling actor Harry Styles, Sam Fender and Little Sims were also among the acts in the running to be honored with the prestigious prize former One Direction singer Harry, 28 received a nomination for his third studio album Harry's House, while Little Sims has secured another Mercury Prize nomination this year for Sometimes I Might Be Introvert, having also featured in the 2019 shortlist with her album Grey Area. Speaking about her nomination in July, the 28-year-old rapper told Radio 6 listeners, I am feeling grateful, very, very blessed, this is my second time round now. When you're an artist, a creative making art, you just do it because it's a release. I had some things to say and this was my way of expressing it and it's a blessing people have resonated with it. The list is so strong so to be amongst that is definitely an honor. I definitely will carry this energy throughout me today. Jordy singer Sam, 28 was nominated for his second album 17 Going Under. The popular singer scooped the Brit Award for Best Rock Alternative Act earlier this year and was also awarded the Ivor Novello for Best Song Musically and Lyrically for his classic rock-inspired title track. Also among the nominees to miss out on the top prize were Wet Leg, who are due to support fellow nominee Harry on tour next year. Hailing from Isle of Wight the duo made headlines with their Glastonbury performance earlier this year and have received a nomination for their self-titled debut album. Rock duo Nova Twins also made the final cut of nominees for their album Supernova, while Scottish pianist Fergus McGreedy was nominated for album Forest Floor following the highly acclaimed Karen released last year. BAFTA nominated actress Jessie Buckley, who recently won an Olivier Award for Best Actress following her role as Sally Bowles in Cabaret, is also nominated for her debut album For All Our Days That Dear the Heart with Bernard Butler. Rapper Koj Radical for Reason to Smile and Welsh musician Quino with album titled Trezor, which means treasure in Cornish, were also nominated for the prize. All but one of the songs on Quino's album are sung in Cornish, which was her first language while growing up. Completing the list of nominees is lead space rock group Yard Act for their debut studio album The Overload. 
This evening's awards show had been scheduled to feature a variety of live performances from all of the nominees apart from Harry, who was not expected to be in attendance due to his touring commitments in America. A filmed live performance was due to be shown to celebrate his album due to his absence. BBC Radio DJ Lauren Laverne was set to host the proceedings at the event in Apollo in Hammersmith, while former Radio 1 presenter Annie Mack took on the role of guest presenter. Author Annie, 44, also a member of the 2022 judging panel and was set to be the one to announce the overall winner of the 2022 Mercury Prize for Album of the Year. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebs at mirror.co.uk or call us direct at 0207 29